Uh, Nick, somebody wants to know. Uh, you don't have to answer anything you don't want to, obviously. What's a backstory with Alyssa clips? Uh, people should go ahead and just <clears throat> people should go ahead and research Alyssa on their own. I don't need to say much of anything, but um, just start looking into Alyssa, and you'll you'll find a very very interesting story in very, very interesting circumstances. Also, hey, you bitch, why'd you send a bunch of nudes to a bunch of sad guys who really were looking for women and then extract money from them? Why did you do that? That's really dishonest and disingenuous. You met those guys, you know, half of them are borderline autistic, they're socially awkward. So when some dopey chick on the internet starts sending nudes to try and steal money from them, that's really shitty to do, you bitch. I wish I would've known you were doing that in my Discord server sooner. I would've thrown you out so you could've bitched about it and cried to everybody just like you did when you ran a GoFundMe to try and get a keyboard or whatever. Oh, my God. Hopefully cancer does the work that God wants soon. All right, we're out of time. Uh, Nick, can we please get a <laughs> shout-out to Legal Bites? <laughs> hey, Legal Bites, you're the least snaky of all of these losers. How is that for a surprise of 2024? My next thing is a, it's a settlement conference on November 25th. It's to try and see if I can work out a plea arrangement with the prosecution. So far, the plea agreement that the prosecution has offered me was a preliminary one. As a preliminary offer, it's not great. Like, it's not bad. It's just not great. And there's a lot of stuff that needs to be worked out before it's a workable deal. So I'm going to go into that. You know, hopefully we'll have some discussion then but fuck like time is passing really quickly so i'm always surprised by things uh you know when they pop up but yeah that's november 25th and and if i you know if we reach some sort of settlement agreement we will schedule a uh, you know a, a, a plea hearing and if we don't we'll schedule a trial and that'll be funny uh if that's the case because this this case is a lot of a lot of stuff to it that's been overlooked in people's haste to like paint me as a villain of course i'm the villain look it's me god oh my goodness it wasn't hard to figure out it's nick and two women who's the villain here well probably the tall dorky asshole who's on the internet all the time he's probably the villain like making the villain your story i don't fucking care um but like the uh you know the the legal reality involves a lot of work still and um I'm just taking it one one step at a time, but that's what? that's the next thing. Is this uh, the settlement conference on 25th? The new mysterious thing that's happening is the tweets between you and April too. Can you shed any light on that? What's going on? This, right. this Let me be very clear. Those, those tweets are not between me and April. April is making tweets. I'm responding to some of them because I find them really, really interesting and fun, and funny. And uh, many of them are just as mysterious to me as they are to you guys. So I like listening to y'all's speculation because it's like, holy shit, that's that's cool. It could be that. I don't know. No. Like, uh, <laughs> people, people have like accused. I don't. I don't have anybody's Twitter account. I don't tweet from anybody's. I don't want to tweet as anybody else. It's a waste of my money to not tweet as me. Like my Twitter is part of my social media and marketing. Me sitting there trying to pretend to be April and tweet would be a serious waste of my resources. I would just tweet as me and then I'd say, look, I'm April tweeting or whatever. And then tweet it. That'd be a better plan than trying to tweet from her account. So yeah. it's all her stuff. I don't know what half of it means, but I like trying to figure it out. It's a fun puzzle for me. It's just some cryptic. It feels like a number station. It feels like you guys are communicating and we don't know what's going on. She's talking about kicking in your back we door. Are. <laughs> Nick, we definitely we are. I just don't always know what we're saying. Do you remember the exact moment you looked at the other two girls and said to them, we have to ditch this dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great question. Who, yeah. When, who who the the a good question. The other two girls. Fuck you, Tookie. Damn. Oh, I'm sorry. I, mean, I just met the ladies. The it's ladies. a good question. <laughs> it's a good question. No, it's really like, okay. And the, the internet wants stories that like make really good sense and happen in black and white and have clear principles. It's like every. The internet wants a hero's tale in every fucking Twitter so like thread, but it, it doesn't. Life doesn't work that way, man. It's it was complicated. It wasn't so, it wasn't so clear and simple. And things like happened over time and then evolved really, really fast. And no one really fucking knew what was going on. And um, it was just a it was just a giant mess. And it involves a whole lot more 
than some nerd being thrown out of a group of people. Like there's, there's a lot of emotion, a lot of feelings involved in, in a very real way. And, uh, you know, every person who's involved in any relationship, don't, don't take this to the poly level, just any relationship. Every person who's involved in relationships adds an exponential layer of drama because they have connections with everybody else. It becomes a fucking mess really quick. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So who um, kicked Nick out? Or sorry, so who kicked Aaron out? God damn it. Ka <laughs> Kayla. Yeah. Kayla did it. I believe that. So, uh, what is your plan? Oh with yeah, I got a. I'm a professional talker. I got a whole fucking yeah. lot to say. I just don't want it to. I don't want it to impact anything legally because that shit needs to play out unimpeded. Of course. So, so what is the plan? Are you gonna go on Kino Casino and MLC and tell your story, or are you gonna do it on your own channel? <laughs> no, no, I'll do it in the only place that matters, which is my channel. Were Dear you right. fucking April before oh. Aaron knew about it? Before their she Vegas trip? Talk? <laughs> yes. No, Jesus Christ. No, like, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a, again, there's, there's a, there's a level to things and betrayal is not really on my menu, um, of things to do. So no, none of that was happening. I liked April right away. I thought she was awesome. Uh, I got along with her really well, but I didn't know her super great. Right. I'm not going to just go fuck her. I'm not that like, I don't do that. That's not a thing that I've ever done uh in my life so like i i which is funny because a bunch of people think i do now i'm like no guys seriously I, i'm calling people nerd half ironically i'm a giant nerd my whole life i wasn't running around fucking girls like i i don't uh i don't look at things that way i don't act that way uh april started coming over and just hanging out because it's really fucking cold so after you hunt or before you hunt pop inside you have some coffee hot chocolate whatever warm up and then and then she would go home and she's just a friend and uh and that was great and then it was like we hang out with you all the time maybe we should like meet your husband because i met him at that <laughs> stupid <laughs> comedy thing boy was and, that um, yeah no kidding i made a lot of them they're great i got a giant fucking list i can't wait to tell everybody because everybody's like talking about all your mistakes i'm like can i make it so that i don't have legal liability for all of them right. first and, and then i'll tell you i'm happy to tell you about I, all my mistakes i don't care i don't live with shame man I can, and I can tell you this, like, I have a letter from the fucking attorney, the district attorney in my case, who says there's no victims in this crime. These are not victim crimes, which includes the children, by the way. And I'm hoping to get the children's charge rectified based on that letter at some point in the very near future. Because if there's no victim, they can't say that there's child endangerment. And there wasn't. I want to be really, really clear on that. The reason they would say there's no victim here is because you don't actually have the evidence to sustain a child endangerment charge because you can't actually show any time where a child was brought around an illegal drug or had any negative consequence from any sort of thing. It really sucks how the news has like trickled out from these things that should not have been public because it paints me in a really terrible light and doesn't give me the opportunity to respond. But one day I will respond. But most people could just use common sense and figure out that an eight year old doing a whole bunch of cocaine would have negative health consequences. And someone probably would have talked about them somewhere like a hospital and then me going to prison harder. But that hasn't happened. And there's a good reason for it. That being said, like there's all sorts of there's all sorts of shit here to to deal with i don't want to go to prison because i do have kids i do love them i always have they've never been neglected they've never been hungry they've never been so dirty that they're in danger none of that shit's real yeah, that was and and guess what like i'm gonna prove all of it when it's done because i have all the recordings of the people conspiring to tell the lies to the fucking pre uh, preacher like that was an actual conspiracy by people to get together to tell untruths to a guy so that he would relay them to the cops and i know that because they fucking said it and i have it on recording because that's how this shit works you get discovery and all of those interviews get shared with the defendant so they can defend themselves not just in court but also in public so it's weird it's almost like a bunch of people got together and lied about me and there's some really bad fucking timing involved and then everybody didn't know what to do but i me least of all i'm like jail's weird i don't like this that much i'm going to sleep oh and the cops tried to talk to me in jail i made fun of them the whole time too it's fucking stupid detective poplin i'm gonna probably see you Corey. you're fucking stupid you're probably gay <laughs>